Otherwise, did, they, did, they, did they get that? Did they buy that? Yeah, like this, back in those days, in it, those? it came out of Muncie, Muncie, Indiana is where it came from. And uh, you could get it came as a kit. You got the machine, the spooler, because you have to refill these spools when they run out. With wire. You have to do that by hand. By hand, uh huh. And the wire reel and the stretcher and the whole kit was thirty dollars. And then you had a had a free trial time on it that you could try it. If you didn't like it, they said you could send it back, no questions asked. <laughs> It's so nice here in the hill country was we had so much up and down. And this thing was actually designed to build fence on site so it would custom weave the wire to fit the terrain. It would go, if you went through a through a valley, it would, would fence it where if you take wire that's made in a factory on the level, when you go over yeah, a hump, yeah, it crinkles it, it, up. It, yeah, it, and so it, this it's here up and down, it made yeah. it it made it where it would would, uh, would fit the terrain. And it Usually what they like to do is run a three-man crew. They said three men could put up about a fifth of a mile a day, so roughly a thousand foot a day. Tough guys. Yeah, you didn't mess around too much. You, you, you had to stay pretty, pretty busy if you wanted to do a fifth of a mile. I think the most... Well, you could run barbed wire through every one except with these two pulls. That's what, yeah. that's what pulls your, your spacing here. Yeah. Yeah. And by adjusting this, you can make your spacing further apart, closer together, however you want to do it. Yeah. That, 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 that's interesting. That's If you're running sheep or something like that, you'd have to have this. This was kind of common around this area. They'd go <coughs> seven strands high, then run two or three strands of barbed wire across the top, and then maybe one underneath. For cattle? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, if you put the put the barbed wire across the top, you see, cattle is more of a try to go over the top. Sheep and goats go through, so that way you kind of had a dual, dual purpose fence. I know this was this one here belonged to my wife's great-grandfather, and uh, a lot of the fences out at the ranch were so low, you know, I could almost step over them, and I, I asked my mother-in-law, I said, well, how did you keep the cows in? Those fences weren't very high. And she said, well, we only had about five cows. We ran you know, about 150 head of sheep. Yeah. And so you didn't really have to worry about them. Yeah, and yeah. They, didn't even, they didn't even use barbed wire. They just used like about a number nine slick wire across the top. Well, they just, you know, the cows that we had. As soon as it gets tight, that's yeah. when is there a certain number of times that you turn it? Yeah, it'll go around five times, but you can feel it. It'll go, it's real hard and it gets real easy. And then on the fifth one, kind of like it climbs up. So that's, that's, that's when you move it. Yeah, that's when you move it. Yeah, that's when you move it. Yeah, that's when you move it. Okay, now that Ross did, I'll get it. 